Hello, this is Dr. Paul Beckham from All Seasons Full Body Chiropractic Center here on the Extraordinary Health Podcast. Uh, we're here to help you finally feel good and live to your full, full potential. <laughs> uh, I have on uh, the podcast again here today, I have Allie and Liz. Hello. <laughs> Jinx. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, PEMF. Uh what is PEMF? Uh, PEMF is pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. Uh, PEMF uh, is what they'll even call cellular exercise. Um, it's uh, basically in our office. We have various different uh, ways that you can uh, have PEMF therapy. One is a, a big zero gravity mat. Uh, another is literally like a rocking chair where the back and the seat have uh, the uh, electrodes or where the PEMF is coming out of. Uh, there's some paddles. There's a big square pad. I mean, it, depending on what a person has going on, there's we can pretty much uh, figure out a way here to get that area kind of covered here. So, um, All the accessories. All the accessories. all the accessories to take care of you. With PEMF, you know, it's literally helping to put a charge back on your body's cells in your body so that your body can function normally again. And, you know, we were just having a discussion before we even started the podcast here on, you know, what are some of the kind of conditions uh, that we've had patients come in and utilize PEMF therapy for. So I'll let them kind of take over here and they can kind of uh, hit some of them here as we kind of go through maybe, but not necessarily in alphabetical order. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. So with PMF, it, there's a myriad of different dysfunctions that can be beneficial for, um, the list is basically infinite, but we'll just touch on some of the, the more common ones that we recommend the therapy for, uh, such as arthritis, um, back pain, any kind of bruise or bone healing that needs to be done, uh, diabetes, fibromyalgia, MS, Parkinson's, um, osteoporosis. It helps with intestinal function, basically any kind of cancer. The big thing, though, with um, cancer anything, right there, I mean, is we always want to be safe with it, you know, and make sure that, you know, it's not... Uh, kind of an active phase, but especially with people that are having, you know, a lot of pain with it and all that sort of stuff, it's going to help reduce uh, some of the inflammation and swelling you have going on. And we're going to want to use, you know, some frequencies that are more helping to normalize your body so, or you detox your body here, depending on where you're at with that. So, yeah, from what I've read, it's actually more beneficial after Correct. cancer yes. treatment than, than during. Yeah. So... Helping kind of re-energize the body so it can get back to where it needs to be to heal itself. Yeah. Basically, any autoimmune dysfunction is going to benefit from the PMF therapy. Yeah, I mean, you have therapy. people with, you know, Hashimoto's. Uh, yeah, people with, you know, things like, you know, diabetes. I mean, then there's an autoimmune disease there where type 1, especially, you know, type 2, uh, you know, a lot of those are, are just not getting the proper, you know, blood flow. Uh, because, you know, especially if they're not controlling their sugars very well, uh, it's going to cause a lot of problems, especially in their periphery. And we'll utilize PEMF with uh, treating patients that have like diabetic neuropathy. And it just helps that blood flow improve and normalize. Uh, and a lot of times you can see a pretty significant improvement even in the color of the skin. So a lot of people with you know, diabetic neuropathy or, or neuropathy in general uh, will have, you know, discolored toes and fingers, especially because that's where you get down to the smallest little teeny tiny arterioles there. And uh, they start to even get a little bit more rigid. Um, the arterioles still do have, you know, a little bit of musculature, musculature to them. But when you get too much, you know, blood sugar in them, it'll just start to making them a little bit more hard and rigid so the blood has a little bit harder time flowing through there plus it also then affects you know the nerves at that point and the nerves start to die off and the PEMF can help that regrow you know our laser treatments are probably the best thing for that there to help everything kind of 
uh, regrow with some of those types of patients. Um, but I mean, that's, that's where we get into some of the different things. Uh, I know some patients that have had in, they've had fractures. Uh, we'll use PEMF with that. That's actually what PEMF therapy was originally intended for was for non healing fractures or skin lesions. And you know, like, again, more ulcers that are from probably diabetic neuropathy. You're starting to lose that blood flow to the tissues, you know, where you have ulcerations in your feet or your hands, you know, if you, it's already getting really bad at that point in time, uh, but it'll help heal those over a lot faster, and especially if they're not even healing up at all. So, um, Liz, what have you kind of seen as far as with some of the patients that are coming in and, and utilizing the therapy here? You haven't been here very long, but with the patients that have been here, uh, what have you seen them utilizing it for? I've mainly seen it used for arthritis. So there's a particular patient that comes to mind where um, she uses the paddles, like that accessory, and the ring accessory. And she has one on her knee of one leg and then one on the ankle of her other leg. And she said it really helps with the pain of her arthritis and everything like that. And then looking at our list, I believe we have another patient who comes in with fibromyalgia and she talks a lot about how it helps her feel a lot better. And she sits on, I believe, just the bed for about 45 minutes and feels pretty good afterwards. Some fibromyalgia, I know some patients with some you know, multiple sclerosis going on and even uh, patients that have Lyme's disease where Lyme's disease, I mean, you know, unfortunately when a person gets Lyme's, you, 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 hopefully you get it to kind of go into remission and get it kind of killed off, but you have to almost in your mind think of it as, hey, I just got to make sure I stay on top of this, you know, kind of for the rest of my life. I mean, and those people might even be uh, benefited by buying themselves a, a PEMF unit that they could use at home. Um uh, which that's what we kind of talked about as well. You know, the, typically the the unit that we have in the office here is more. I was going to say, intensity. is that something pretty accessible for the normal? There's some very person? inexpensive ones, you know, but they're like I say, they're low intensity, and yeah, they literally, you know, they're probably still you know getting a decent one. It's still probably around a thousand dollars, but probably five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars is going to get you one that's actually going to be worthwhile. That's going to last a long time for you. And you're not going to have a lot of problems with it. Uh, we used to have like a Beamer unit. That's actually where we first started with uh, PEMF therapy. And I could kind of sense the PEMFs myself, but it, you really have to be focused on, you know, feeling it and knowing that there's something going on. So literally, if you were to buy one of these, you know, say off of Amazon or off the Internet somewhere, uh, and it's, you know... It, more people, are, most people are going to be buying the low intensity one. You know, you get into some of the higher intensity ones. Now you're talking, you know, twenty, you know, ten, twenty thousand up. You know, from there, uh, for those types of uh, PMF therapy, like we have in the office here, and uh, you definitely feel it because we can turn it up to sensory to when you start to feel it, or we can turn it all the way up to the point where you feel kind of a Literally, you'll be bouncing around, you know, depending on the frequency, which could be anywhere from 1 hertz up to 10 hertz. So, so speaking of frequency and, t and intensity, what's the difference between lower intensity and higher intensity <laughs> frequencies? Well, I'm glad you asked. No. <laughs> 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 uh, typically, uh, the uh, lower intensities, and that's usually where we're going to start people out when they first come in is on a lower intensity one because it'll do a little bit more of like a detox and kind of help clear and stuff out of your system uh if we do use it more uh, in a little bit higher frequency probably more in that you know two two and a half to five and a half kind of range there then we're really getting into treating a lot of the musculoskeletal types of conditions and all that and then the higher intensity ones we're more treating you know like the i guess an example is there's a transcranial magnetic therapy that is used uh, in some medical facilities to treat depression, and, and that's actually run at 10 hertz. So there, you know, you're even treating, like, the central nervous system. So the the higher the frequency, typically a lot of people, um, you know, once they have it run, it'll help them relax really well. They'll really get a good night's rest. 
I know every time that I use it on that higher frequency there, I just uh, feel tired. Like I just need to go home and probably you know, sleep the whole night or something like that. Whereas on the lower end, it's a little bit more energizing. So if you need a little more pick me up or something like that, we can you know, you run it down in that one hertz range there. So it's kind of gets you going, gets everything kind of working a little bit better as far as even your internal organs and all that. So it'll help you, you know, kind of detox and clear stuff out of your system. So yeah, the first time I tried it out, I was feeling pretty under the weather, and uh, I had used it on a very high frequency. I want to say it was all the way up at, you know, 10 Hertz or 9.9 Hertz. And I went home and I just slept and slept and slept. And when I woke up the next day, (laughs) I felt great. It was wonderful. And that was my very first experience with the PEMF therapy. And Liz, you've also used it as well, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. I also, I used it on a pretty high frequency as well. So I would be interested just to see kind of what the difference Mm -hmm. is if I wanted to try it at, you know, a lower level just for my elbow problems. Yeah, it down that lower frequency, Um, that, you know, two, two and a half range there. And and, uh, it's kind of very similar to our uh, focus shockwave therapy there where, you know, it's got the same frequencies. It's... the focus shockwave is kind of like PEMF therapy, just very super localized there. So, um, but yeah, it definitely will get you a little bit more energized. I think something else that, you know, I guess I didn't mention in here too, is that there, you know, the earth naturally gives off PEMF, you know, waves, you know, pulse electromagnetic field waves. Uh, these are all good kinds of pulse electromagnetic field waves. Some people, hear of uh, EMFs or something like that, and they think, oh, those are bad. And there are bad EMFs that you can get from, like, cell towers and just, you know, bad frequencies like that. Occasionally you can get them coming out of the power of your house. Some people are very, very sensitive to those, and they can end up developing uh, conditions. But PEMF is all geared towards helping you feel better here. So, But, you know, what the Earth gives off are what are called Schumann frequencies. So it's kind of a normalizing kind of frequency and if we run ours at like 7.8 it, it's something where it just kind of helps normalize everything in your body so it, it probably gives a little bit of pain relief a little bit of relaxation but it should keep you on a pretty even keel that's why i usually run it on myself most of the time um if i do want to have things kind of relax a little bit like i say that's why i'm running up at that 9.9 or 10 hertz there uh, and again, if I want to kind of energize myself or looking at trying to detox things, then I'll drop it all the way down to that one hertz frequency. So um, I think they, you know that's kind of hitting most of the things. Do you guys think of anything else here that... Well, if you think that you ha- might have a condition or that you're curious if PEMF um, would be good quality therapy for, the best thing you can do is just ask. Reach out to us and ask if that's something that would be beneficial for your condition. Um, I, from what I understand, it has a lot more benefits than it has downsides. So, Yeah, there's there's really not any kind of known downsides really to it, you know, so... Um, I know there's, I've had some patients, you know, as we kind of talked about there with cancer and their oncologist quite, you know, weren't sure of it there, even though they were in remission and all that sort of stuff. I mean, even sending them information on it, like, hey, this could be helping them out. They won't have to take as many pain meds and all that kind of stuff can get off some of the, you know, hydrocodones and all that sort of thing um, and just make them feel better. But, you know, we don't also don't want to run the risk here of, Somebody's. I'm like, we're not forcing people to do this here, but you know they could benefit from it if they you know, want to go through with it here. You know, as long as, as long as we feel like it's something safe for you to do, we will make sure that you know you can try it, even see what it feels like to you, see if you get that benefit from it there. Uh, but typically, yeah, it should help your body's immune system start to kind of function a little bit better because just about any type of condition that is autoimmune uh, kind of generated. Uh, responds very very well to pemf so i hope all this information kind of helps give you at least a general idea here of how pemf therapy might 
help you there. Uh, we didn't cover all the conditions because there's just so many of them. Uh, and there's, again, if you do need it and you have something going on specifically, you know, we'll do our best to make sure that we kind of get it dialed into, you know, what you're going to need for yourself to get you the best benefit out of it. So, you know, for ourselves here at All Seasons Integrative Health, we'll be signing off and hopefully we'll see you on the next podcast. So have a great day and see you on the next one. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.